The Holy Gospel according to Luke, the 10th chapter, beginning with the 38th verse. Glory to you, O Lord. Now as they went on their way, he entered a certain village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. She had a sister named Mary who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to what he was saying. But Martha was distracted by her many tasks, so she came to him and asked, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and distracted by many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, which will not be taken away from her. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Grace and peace to you from Christ our Lord. Amen. Martha, Martha, Martha. Fast, fast, fast. Do, do, do. Busy, busy, busy. Buzzing all about the living room there. Busy, busy, busy as a bee. Martha is cruising around in the kitchen and she says to Jesus, halfway out of breath, she says, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do all of this by myself? Lord, don't you care? There is much work that needs to be done here. There's cooking, there's cleaning, there's dusting. There's all these things that need to be done. Lord, don't you care that my sister is not doing anything and I'm doing all the work here? Martha is certainly buzzing about. There is a time to go and do and there is a time to listen and reflect, knowing which and when is a matter of spiritual discernment. Now, a story of another sort of buzz. The amazing story of the astronaut Buzz Aldrin, commemorated yesterday, July 20th, 1969. 44 years ago today. How many of you remember that day? There he was, Buzz Aldrin, 250,000 miles from Earth. And there was a radio blackout. For some reason, communication was lost between Earth and the moon. And there was this radio blackout. And so Buzz Aldrin now recalls what happened during that radio blackout. He said, I poured the wine into the chalice that our church had given me in the one-sixth gravity on the moon. The wine he poured into the cup slowly. And he recalls the wine going down into the cup and coming up and slowly cradling back down into the cup. He took the bread put it into his mouth. He took the cup slowly and drank it and communed with the Lord slowly. Then he read the scripture, I am the vine, you are the branches. Whosoever abides in me will bring forth much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing Buzz was dwelling with the Lord, dwelling in the scripture, slowly and in a very deliberate way. Interestingly, he was on the part of the moon called the Sea of Tranquility. 250,000 miles away, Buzz Aldrin was communing with and being with the Lord. But Martha, 
in her busyness and in her distractions and in her to-do list of things to do. She had the Lord right there in her living room, but she, she, the Lord might as well have been on the moon because she was so distracted with all of her tasks. Have you ever been in Martha mode? Busy, 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 do, 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 distracted by your tasks rather focused, uh, rather than focused on people. Or do you ever, have you ever been to a party with Martha as a host? Like, well, chances are everything was cleaned and cooked and prepared well, but chances are also that you didn't get a chance to visit much with her because, well, it could be, Martha could also be a him. We also have busy men who like to do that sort of thing. But chances are you didn't get a good chance to visit with them. So doing, this doing mood, mode can distract from being present with a guest. So moving now from the buzz of Mar Martha to the buzz back on the moon. Buzz Aldrin recalls from that most memorable day 44 years ago, commemorated yesterday, Buzz recalls, it was interesting for me to think. The very first liquid ever poured on the moon. And the very first food ever eaten on the moon were the communion elements. There is a time to go and do, and there is a time to listen and reflect. Knowing which and when is a matter of spiritual discernment. In this summer season, things will pull on you to go, go, and go. Well, this summer is just flying by because it's been busy for many of you that I've heard. And there is a time for that. But the Lord calls us on this day to go slow, slow, slow. To not be like Martha and be distracted by everything that we have to do, but to be more like Mary, where we sit at Jesus' feet and listen to his words. Be present with the Lord in the living room of our lives. And so I'm reminded of two different table graces that many of us are probably very familiar with. The first is, come Lord Jesus, be our guest, and let this food to us be blessed, or let these gifts to us be blessed. How many of you have heard of that one? Yes. And uh, another one typically that is sung, be present at our table, Lord, be here and everywhere adored. These mercies bless and grant that we may strengthen for thy service be. Amen. How many of you have heard of that one? Yes. Saying grace is an invitation. An invitation for our Lord to be present with us at our kitchen tables, in our living rooms, wherever we are at. Well, an invitation, even if we're on the moon, like Buzz Aldrin. And since we invite the Lord to be present, it should follow that we too should be present. Not only to Christ in our midst, but being present for our family, being present for our friends gathered around the table. And so today, What's the buzz all about? It's not about being busy as a bee like Martha. Rather, the buzz is about that one named Buzz Aldrin, who, in the midst of a radio blackout, slowed down and communed with the Lord. He slowed down. So the buzz is about communing like that buzz 
on the moon. Amen. <laughs>